Hello, friend. I'm glad you've joined me. I want to share some thoughts with you about this idea. Rise above and stay strong. Here's a passage from the Gospel of Matthew 3, verse 17, and it's uh, from the narrative about the baptism of Jesus. And a voice came from heaven and said, This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. And we know that God says that about us as well as about Jesus. And here is a line from Hafez, who is a 14th century Persian mystic and poet. He writes, I wish I could show you when you're lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. A friend recently shared this story. One day a teacher wrote the following on a blackboard. One times nine equals seven. Two times nine equals 18. Three times nine equals 27. Four times nine equals 36. Five times nine equals 45. And six times nine equals 54. When the teacher was finished, he looked to his students and the class started laughing. When he asked why, one student pointed out the first equation was wrong. And the teacher responded by saying, I wrote that first one wrong to show you something very important. This is how the world will treat you. You can see I wrote five other correct answers, but none of you gave me recognition for that. You all laughed and criticized me for the one wrong thing I did. The world will not always appreciate the good that you do, but it will always put you down for that one mistake you make. But rise above the criticism and stay strong. That's good advice. As we grow spiritually, we learn an important truth. God never criticizes nor condemns us. God sees us as we are, full of light and intelligence, radiant with love and always walking toward higher awareness. Yes, we stumble and fall sometimes, like a child learning to walk. These are natural opportunities to learn, rise above, get stronger, not occasions for self-berating. With a simple choice, we too can see ourselves the way God sees us and speak to ourselves kindly the way God does. We can't control what other people say about us or how they act toward us, but we do have an immense power the power to decide what we will say to and about ourselves and how we will act toward ourselves. When we determine to get a view of ourselves from God, we rise above anything that the world slings our way and we grow strong. God bless you in the love and the light of the risen Christ.